Freestyle football, the energetic young sport that's becoming a global phenomenon. Ballers control the ball with almost every part of their body, displaying mind-boggling skills. Today, we meet two of Japan's biggest talents who are driven by an intense rivalry. One spins and freezes like a breakdancer while deftly manipulating the ball. The other is a remarkable athlete with startling speed and flexibility. As they prepare for the national championships, we see if one of them can claim the top prize and become Japan's latest champion baller. Freestyle football has taken keep-ups with the ball to totally new levels. And the more you watch it, the more captivating it gets. Japan has a vibrant scene, exploding with skill and creativity. And today we meet two of its most outstanding innovators who are vying with each other for Japan's top spot with an eye on becoming world number one. But let's kick off by taking a look at what makes freestyle football so special. Argentine football legend Diego Maradona's famous warm-up routine back in the 1980s was the fuse that ignited the beginnings of freestyle football. Over the past few decades, freestyle football has evolved into a vibrant international sporting movement. Skilled ballers can perform an endless number of tricks, showing impossible dexterity, speed, and creativity. The rise of social media has boosted freestyle football's reach, and today there are millions of online views of the sport every month. In competition, it's the one-on-one -on -one battles that really get the crowd fired up. Ballers see who can perform the wildest tricks, using any part of the body apart from the arms and hands. Battles last three minutes, with each baller taking turns every 30 seconds, meaning they go three times each. The winner is the baller who can display the greatest originality, style, and technique. Big global events such as the Red Bull Street Style World Finals and Super Bowl now happen on a regular basis, showcasing the world's finest talent. Freestyle football has become such a dynamic sport and form of expression. When it comes to creativity and technical complexity, the possibilities are endless. Japan has a wealth of talent who are really making their mark on the world stage, often claiming podium spots. Two ballers in particular really stand out. They have a rivalry that just gets more intense with every tournament. Yoshida Ibuki and Takahashi Kosuke are two of Japan's top ballers and have a fierce rivalry. Both exude style and originality in abundance and can draw from a repertoire of highly advanced tricks. Ibuki is 24 years old and entered competitive freestyle football around eight years ago, going on to win some big domestic tournaments. He's gained a reputation for incredible speed, balance, and flexibility. I think what gives my approach to freestyle a unique edge comes down to my body. My joints are very supple, especially for tricks based around the clipper, where you have to bend your ankle and stretch it out to your side. I believe I can perform clippers better than anyone else out there. And it's a strong point in my routines. 
I can bring the ball to a complete stop, like this. And from there, I can do things like swinging my foot once or even twice around it. In 2019, Ibuki reached the final of the Asia Pacific Championships. His opponent was two-time former Asia Pacific champion PWG from the Philippines. PWG looks confident, coming out with some intricate sitting tricks and transitions. But Ibuki responds with some awesome moves of his own. To be honest, I viewed the tournament and final as not much more than a stepping stone. I believed a solid performance would pretty much guarantee victory. But while attempting some original tricks, Ibuki drops the ball several times. That was a shock for me. I was like, whoa, that's not good. I think from the judge's point of view, however, I was turning out some very high-level original tricks. Even though I was making mistakes, if you compare that to my opponent, his tricks weren't of the highest level and probably weren't so original, but he did perform his entire routine almost perfectly. I think it gave the judges a tough decision to make. In the end, it's Ibuki's style and originality that prevail, making him Asia-Pacific champion for the first time. Ibuki's big rival Kosuke has also won the Asia-Pacific title and is a serial winner of the Japan Championship. Now 28 years old, he's won it a record three times. Kosuke is a baller who can make extremely complex tricks and trick transitions look effortless. My style of freestyle football is essentially quick, agile, and creative. That's what I try to bring to the table. The way I perform incorporates a lot of influences from dance, especially breakdancing. Breakdancing is a core element of Kosuke's unique style. Dance is the epitome of artistic expression using the human body and freestyle embodies that culture. There's a strong affinity and so much to draw on. In 2016, Kosuke was battling for the world title at the Red Bull Street Style World Finals. His opponent is Charlie from Argentina, known for his unique acrobatic style. It's gonna be Charlie. Let's see if he starts with his Kala combo. No, no, not yet. Both ballers deliver some brilliant tricks in a really tight contest. But Kosuke has to settle for second, just missing out the world title. I felt so unlucky. I did what I could to pack plenty of creativity, originality, and complex detail into each round of the battle. And my opponent's tricks were mostly of the super high-impact kind. I suppose it was a bit like having an artist and an athlete-type face-off against each other. It's the kind of matchup that's almost impossible to compare. The last time Kosuke and Ibuki faced each other was in the quarterfinal of the 2019 Red Bull Street Style World Finals, held in Miami, Florida. These guys are all about the show and that showmanship and that battle, and I love it. It's awesome. 
That was the first time ever for two Japanese to go head-to-head -head at a big international tournament. And to be able to battle such a huge rival on the biggest stage there is was an amazing experience. I can say with total certainty that battle was the biggest rush of adrenaline I'd ever felt in my life. with the classical Ibuki crazy flow. Both Ibuki and Kosuke are on fire, showcasing to the world the technical finesse of Japanese ballers. You, I like it. Nice finish by Ibuki, so Kosuke and Ibuki. I want to see their face, you know. Kosuke, Kosuke, oh. Kosuke's got it. Kosuke has got it. On this occasion, Kosuke beats Ibuki. The moment the battle was over, I really felt I had it in the bag. Reading the crowd's energy, that was my overwhelming feeling. Ibuki delivered lots of high-level innovative tricks, but he slipped up a few times. So I tried to answer with consistent quality and originality. It was very close. Ibuki and Kosuke stand at the forefront of freestyle football in Japan and have formed a great rivalry on the cutting edge of the sport. Yeah. With hardly anything separating Kosuke and Ibuki, it's fascinating to watch just how different they are both in terms of style and character. But who can deliver this time around and become Japan's latest number one baller? With the national championships just days away, things are about to get serious. Ibuki and Kosuke are making their final preparations for the Japan Championships. Both ballers are arming themselves with some new tricks. Ibuki calls one of his original tricks the Gianis. It's a highly advanced trick that leverages his incredible joint flexibility to the max. You probably need to see it in slow motion to grasp what's going on. But you first hook the ball, apply a spin, and step over it. Bringing it over to your side, you catch it with the clipper. Then you move it through your legs and out front. Next, you flick it up and around your neck. before ending with a catch on your side again. It's like a whole bunch of different tricks packed into a brief second. That's my Guinness. Ibuki is currently fine-tuning an adaptation of the Guinness that he's planning to perform at the Japan Championships. With my new Guinness, the ball doesn't go up and over. I make it go across my front and down my leg. I think it's pretty unique and totally original to me. It's a crazy trick, eh? Instead of whipping the ball around his head, with his new Guinness, Ibuki pushes it across his body, letting it roll down his leg.
Like any top baller, Ibuki is constantly developing new tricks, some taking months or even years to master. I want to keep working on tricks that ballers recognize as mine. Ballers the whole world over. I don't need to claim my tricks are the dopest and freshest, as anyone in the scene will instantly know they're original. Kosuke has also been cooking up some new tricks for the national championships. One is an adaptation of a trick that draws inspiration from a breakdancing move called the flare. The flare is a textbook power move in breakdancing. Until recently, Kosuke has held the ball between his body and thigh, making a short pause before launching. He's been trying to cut out the pause. It's hard enough for me with the pause, but I've been trying to raise the bar even higher. Let me show you. With his new flare, Kosuke catches the ball in the same spot, but this time there's no pause before he takes off. Kosuke's freestyle football really is like a dance, emphasizing creative detail, rhythm, and flow. When it comes to deciding how to link my tricks into a routine and intuitively knowing which ones to perform in those three 30-second rounds, I think I always have plenty in my repertoire to draw on. Another clash of styles between these two astonishing ballers could well be on the cards as the anticipation builds towards the national championship. It's the day of the Japan Freestyle Football Championship. There are no spectators at the usually packed venue because of the pandemic, so it's being streamed live for the very first time. The tournament is down to the last eight top Japanese ballers who made it through online preliminary rounds out of hundreds of entrants from across the country. It's a knockout tournament with the usual three 30-second rounds per battle for each baller. If Kosuke and Ibuki can win their first two battles, they will meet in the final. I feel great. I took time to recharge yesterday and get myself in the best condition for today, both physically and mentally. I'm ready. Sorry, but I need to focus. In his first battle, Kosuke overcomes his opponent with relative ease. He has lots to spare. Ibuki's opening battle is against a wonder kid, but his own originality is just too good for the youngster. In the semis, Kosuke and Ibuki's opponents come at them hard, but again the pair show why they dominate the Japanese scene. As expected, the final will be between Kosuke and Ibuki. The tension backstage 
is palpable. Battle start. Kosuke is up first. Straight from the off, he delivers his new flair for the first time in the tournament, nailing it flawlessly. It's a perfect opening round for Kosuke. The pressure is on for Ibuki. But he hits straight back with an Ibuki original. It's game on. They go into the third and final round, the Mercury hits boiling point. Again, Kosuke delivers a radical new move. Kosuke's transitions are slick, everything flowing beautifully. What can Ibuki answer him with? Without hanging back, he responds with his new Guinness. He answers Kosuke with fresh trick after fresh trick. It's an epic final that totally lives up to the billing. Kosuke takes the Japan title yet again. It was another awesome battle against Ibuki. He's so skillful and creative. I thought I'd stretched my focus to the limits, but in the end, I think I tapped into new levels when it mattered. Kosuke is such a powerhouse and he always delivers. It's obviously frustrating to have lost to him, but more than missing out on the title, what bugs me the most is that I wasn't able to perform as I'd set out to. I want to turn that around. If I can keep winning my battles, then naturally other ballers in Japan are gonna want to take me on and will be working hard to raise their game to defeat me. So one reason I want to keep winning is to be a catalyst for others. Ibuki and Kosuke's rivalry has just reached new extremes. A 
As the pair continue to push each other to ever greater heights in this expressive and dynamic sport. That was an amazing final in such an absorbing battle. Kosuke might just have the edge over Ibuki still, but there's really very little in it. I'm sure it's only a matter of time before we watch one of them claim the world title, and I can't wait to see what comes next from these two freestyle footballers. It's now time to wrap up with this week's Spotlight. Please join us again next time on J Arena. Fencing bouts hinge on split-second reactions. A highly developed sense of touch is a must. A new game designed in Japan aims to optimize fingertip sensitivity. To play, competitors use an unlikely tool, large wooden letters. Any letter can be chosen. Players intertwine their letters and close their eyes before the 10-second battle starts. One player attempts to untangle the letters, while the other is charged with keeping them interlocked. Two-time Olympic silver medalist Otayuki took on the challenge. As the game relies purely on fingertip response, some kids actually manage to beat the Olympian. I hope that fun new activities like this can help show people how sports can awaken their potential. The game that puts fingertip sensitivity to the ultimate test is certainly proving a hit among all ages.